welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're going to be taking a look at a puzzle that I think may cause some ripples in the world of Sudoku. It's called Rising Circles, and it's by Dorlier. Now, Dorlier, I know, is a maths professor. In fact, while I think about it, we're actually watched by a lot of maths professors on Cracking the Cryptic, and that is a slightly terrifying thought to me. Um, but anyway, that's by the by. The, the reason we're doing this puzzle is because one of our testers has so vehemently recommended it to us, even though the tester says this will probably be the shortest Cracking the Cryptic video ever. I kid you not, apparently this puzzle is quite simple, but incredibly, incredibly beautiful. So I suppose the f I'm going to start with a plea. If you've never tried one of the puzzles on the channel before, this might be the one to have a go at, because apparently we should all be able to do it. But it's meant to be incredibly beautiful um, and it features the new circle constraint that we've we've been seeing. I've seen it in at least two puzzles. Uh, I want to say Stimim's puzzle and also Marty Sears puzzle, uh, which which appeared last week. Um, anyway, I'll read you the rules, which won't take long in a moment or two's time. Uh, what do I have to mention before that? A um, couple of things over on Patreon. We're getting towards the closing date of the competition. So you've got until the 20th to send in your entry. Um, for the Lines and Shapes Sudoku Hunt with a chance to win the merch. Um, and then um, also over on Patreon, we've got my solve of, oh, I've got it actually, Kurt Hugo Schneider's uh, six by six with the algebra in it. Um, that I, I was actually quite relieved um, because e even knowing some of the Sudoku theory that was likely to be behind how to solve that puzzle, it still wasn't a straightforward solve for me but Kurt actually has watched the video and commented on it to say that well he seems to have enjoyed very <laughs> enjoyed watching me battle with it quite a lot so uh, I was relieved to see that um other than that I've just got a couple of birthdays to announce uh, these are late birthdays uh, these are both from Saturday and I apologize that these are late um, that is my fault basically I had a very busy weekend this weekend and it left me very little time shorter even even shorter time than usual to scan all of the emails and make sure I was reading everybody's birthdays I was I was playing in a golf match um, down at Royal St George's uh, and actually thinking about it i had another moment where another me in the corner moment where yeah where the, the captain of the opposing team said mm, he sort of looked at me and he thought for a moment he said yeah you're not exactly cookie cutter are you simon well yeah that, fair enough really fair enough but it's just disappointing how quickly people can diagnose this um anyway that's by the by let me say a very happy birthday to andrew um from angela and that was for Saturday and that came in via Twitter. So Andrew, happy birthday. I hope you were able to have chocolate cake. And also Rob over there in Illinois. Um, and um, I, well, I, I think you've turned a birthday that's a slightly higher number than the secret if I'm, if I'm, not, if I'm not misled. Uh, but you were expecting to celebrate with your family and possibly have a triple chocolate cake or triple, triple, what's that? What's it called? Triple chocolate cake. Is that just what it's called? But it's, it sounds very nice. Uh, and I hope you did get to eat it. Um, so that's the birthdays done. No actual birthdays for today. But let's have a look at Rising Circles by Dorlia. And I will read you the rules. They are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we have to put uh, the digits one to nine in every row, in every column, and in every three by three box once each. A digit in a circle indicates how many circles contain that digit. For example, if there is a five in any circle, so let's put a five in the middle of the grid. If this is a five, then there are five fives in circles. So it, it's exactly the same as the circle rule we've seen recently. Um, it's, um, I can actually see some interesting things about this puzzle immediately, but do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now, I've learned from doing these circles puzzles that a typical way of starting is to add up all of the circles in the grid. Now, the bizarre thing about this puzzle is for two reasons I don't need to add up the circles in the grid because I know how many circles there are just by inspection. And I don't mean inspecting as in counting. I just mean inspection of this box or even there are two ways you can see this quickly. The way I saw it was this box. The other way of seeing it 
which I now understand the title, I think, Rising Circles, is to see that each box contains a rising number of circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you know the triangular number for nine, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. You not only know the secret of Sudoku, which is of course 45, but you will know how many circles there are in this puzzle. So the way I did it was I saw that every digit is circled in box 9, and therefore there must be 9 circled 9s, 8 circled 8s, etc, etc, and I know the sum, of, I know the triangular number for 9 is 45. So, so what does that mean? It means that, right, it means that, yeah, it means that the, the one in this box is circled, but there is only one circled one in the puzzle. So where does one go in box eight? It cannot go in a circle, because if it did, there would be two circled ones, one in this box and one in this box. So one goes there, and that, that, that must, I can already see where this is going. So that means that one's got to go here in box seven, one's got to go here in box five, one's got to go there. We can't put one in, in any more circles because there's a one down in, in a... Well, actually, we've nearly worked out where the one goes in box nine now. And this is going... This is probably... No, it's not going to stop. Now we've got a one here. We've got a one here. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've got a one there. We, so we get all the ones straight away. Now, okay, so this is why this puzzle is achievable. Right, and <laughs> so now we know where twos go in this box. Because there's a t there are t two twos that are circled in the puzzle because there is a circled two in this box. Well, the two in this box is circled and the two in this box is going to be circled. So that, that's the two twos that are circled. So we cannot circle the two in this box, so it has to go here. Oh, so it's got to go there. Let's actually get big numbers in. Oh, my two isn't working. That's not going to help. So that's got to be a two. It really isn't. I pressed it twice then. That's got to be a two. Oh, please just go. Yeah. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, it, it does. Somehow, Dorlier's put the jog the sort of geography of these circles in places where even though I can't type two I can fill in twos although no I can I can I can get the two in this box as well because that two is stopping it going there so that's got to be two and now there must be four twos looking at box eight so that's a two and now I'm going to turn my attention you've guessed I think that's got to be a three because the three there are three circled threes, and they're going to appear in boxes nine, eight, and seven. So that's got to be a three. That's got to be a three. This is just, this, this is just a perfect puzzle. Because it's unbelievably beautiful that, that you can fill in, well, at least the ones, the twos, and most of the threes straight away. You no, know, you can go, it goes again. It goes again. Look, the threes goes here. The three goes here and the three goes here. That is absolute please just if this just goes all the way, I will I will lose my mind at how beautiful this is. This is so fours must be there, there well we don't know where they are, but they're circled here, circled in this box, circled in this box, circled in this box. So that's four. <laughs> that's four. Uh, yes, that's four. So that's four. And that's four in the corner. No song, but I don't mind. That's fine. And fives are now, okay, so fives are now in these boxes circled, aren't they? So that's five. That's five. Oh, this is just, it's so ridiculous. Six is now, we just do the same thing again. Seven, seven. You could just fill it in. This is so absurd. Now, now, okay, so now, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I got ahead of myself there because I could see how to do the sixes, but I don't think I finished the fives, did I? And that that was that was remiss of me. I should have at least seen whether it's possible to do all of the digits without putting in any higher digit. I'm going to go back. I'm going back. I did. Did I? Oh no, I did. I didn't do it for the fours either. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm not going to allow myself that. I'm, yes, I can get the four here. Yes, it just goes through. 
Oh, come on. Uh, that five wasn't really relevant to what we were doing there, so I'll forgive myself that. So five has to go here. Now, do you get all the fives as well, or do they still... No, you do, you do. I don't believe it. This is just wonderful. Ah, no, you don't. You don't. The fives, the fives are going to run out. The five here causes a five thingy there. So you can't, so it stops at the fives. You can't do all the fives. Okay, but we know, we know we can do some magic with sixes. We can do some sixes there. So that becomes a six by our old friend Sudoku. That becomes a six. <laughs> that becomes a six. It, it's just stunning. I think sixes actually, we're going to get sixes in those five cells which which is well those sorry those nine cells which are not going to be resolved but of course we can just go to sevens now um so seven seven that becomes a seven look so now i know that five six and seven are here so well this is obviously an eight nine pair that so we're just we're going to have to right but, but we can do eight in this box because yes that's that's another way we could have started it couldn't we because the moment I knew there were nine nines in the puzzle, then the nine that was inevitably going to appear, and there will be a nine in box one, needed to be circled. So I could have actually started like that. I could have just put nine in. Oh, I could have just done the nine. So maybe you could just do it backwards. <laughs> this is just so... I was going to say stupid, but it's not stupid. It's just incredible. It is just incredible. So that's nine. That's nine, that's nine, so that's eight, that's eight, that's seven. <laughs> Eights and sevens go in. What's that going to be then? That's the nine, isn't it? So that's nine, that gets this done. Where's the nine in this one? There, that's fine. Uh, eight's here, eight's here. So this is a six, seven pair. Ah. Uh, this we know is five, six. Is this going to, It probably. I'm, I mean, it is going to solve, isn't it? But yes, it does. Look, it just bounces back over here rather wonderfully so that becomes seven that's six that's five so that's six that's five and that's four and that is one of the most beautiful things you will ever see in the world of 500 people have solved that in three days what wow well that shows that shows how many people so this this puzzle is obviously going round by word of mouth as it should because it's it's unbelievably it's just unbelievably wonderful that is simply sublime i'm going to be fascinated as well if if you if you have never solved a variant sudoku before maybe this is the first first one you have actually tried please let us know in the comments whether you had a go and whether whether you a were managed you managed to do it and if you did 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 you see how this world of variant sudoku is quite the thing it is quite the thing because that is absolutely sensational professor dorlia take a bow and i i shall genuflect before you because that is that is that is as much fun as you can have um on any given day absolutely loved it and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.